Hi everyone! My name is Alyssa and welcome to my channel Retro Furby. So today I'm going to be showing you my Furby collection. I collect the 1998 Furbies and the 1999 and the Furby Babies. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and let's go meet my Furbies. So this is my first Furby I ever got, um, aside from one I had when I was a kid. But I got this one uh, about a month ago from a girl that was on Facebook Marketplace and it was for 15 bucks and I just had to go and meet her at my local Raley's. And uh, he was new in box, so I brought him home and I opened him up and tried to get him to work and the first thing, he wouldn't work. So it took quite a while of um, having him upside down and hitting him until finally I was able to get that um, mechanism inside to finally work. And then when he did work, he had MSA, which means that it just wakes up and then he falls right back asleep. So it took some time of me kind of figuring out how to get him to work, but um, I just had to reset him and hold him upside down, push his tongue down, and he was able to finally work. So he is working, he just will tend to have MSA every time you try to turn him on, but um, you can get him working pretty easily. So I was pretty surprised because he had never been opened and a lot of times the older ones will not work if you haven't used them in a really long time, so yeah. So this guy I got off of eBay and he's a Gorilla Furby. Um, he's got a little bit of an open mouth and his ears don't really interact um, at the same time. But uh, he's still in pretty good condition beside that and he does work. Um, he worked great actually, so I was really surprised when he automatically started working as soon as I put batteries in him. So uh, I really like this guy, especially because of his eye color matching his body, so I was excited for that. Um, I think they look like little Rottweilers or Dobermans, and Dobermans are my favorite uh, type of dog. So I kind of want to get him a spiky little collar so he can look like a dog. My third Furby is the Coffee Style, and um, her name is Fawn. Uh, this one also works. Uh, she's in pretty good shape. She's got a little bit of um, something on her uh, sensor. I don't know if it's... it probably could come off if I tried to clean it a little bit better. But um, yeah, I, she came in pretty good shape. I also got this one from eBay too. Um, around the same time as I got the Gorilla Furby and they came in on the same day. So uh, that is it so far for my adult Furbies. So now we're going to move on to the babies. So this one is one of my favorites. This is the um, spring special edition baby Furby. And um, this one came in pretty much like new. And um, it does have a tag. All my Furbies have tags. Um, I like this one because it's got the mane. And uh, the rest of the ones that I showed you all just have the tail and the separate little poof on the head. So I really like this one. My first ever Furby that I had when I was little I was a um, Furby baby. So I really wanted to get another Furby baby and I think I spent about like 40 bucks on this one. Um, that's including shipping so it really wasn't too bad for one that's in as good a condition as this one is. I named it Sprinkles. <laughs> and last but not least this is my latest Furby that I just got yesterday. So this is a snowy uh, Furby baby. And um, I haven't tested this one yet, so I'm going to need to test her, but um, I really, really was happy to get this one. Um, it's kind of hard to find one that doesn't have any discoloration, and so this one still had the box, and it looked like it had pretty much been kept in the box and wasn't really played with, so um, I was really happy to be able to get my hands on this one. It's also one that has a mane, and it's got its tag which looks like it pretty much was just left inside of the box because the tag has no damage to it whatsoever. And uh, so it's pretty clean. There's not really any yellowing on the face, which I'm really happy about. Um, I did actually get one other Furby yesterday, but we're not going to be showing that one because <laughs> it is a tie-dye Furby and it is absolutely filthy. So what I'm going to be doing with that one is actually doing a video later that is cleaning that Furby. So taking it apart, um, skinning it, cleaning it, and putting it back on and hoping that most of the crud that's on it will come off. So that'll be a later video. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my Furby collection so far. I have some Furbies coming in. Um, one I am super excited about that is, you know, my um, grail of a Furby. So um, stay tuned for that. I will show you that video pretty soon. Thanks for joining me. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. This is my first video. So I hope to have a lot more. All right, thanks, bye.